Good morning, everyone. Well, today I am going through my winter section. And um, so if you've seen this one, you have, you've seen the, uh, if you've seen my haul video, you've already seen this winter collection. I'm going to try to keep my collections that are like a full collection or, you know, that have the things with them. I'm going to try to keep them together. Now, um, I think I told you before that I have eight cubes. My goal is to not um, have stuff someplace else. So I'm trying to put my collections with that category. And we'll see how that works out. Because I do have... Um, my cubes are not all the way full. But I do have a stack of paper that's probably... It may be... 10 inches tall. I don't know. So we'll see how that works out. But I have taken out a whole inch. Okay. So this was the... Oh. I stuck two in here. I don't want the, that other one in there. I probably stuck three in there. I did. Okay. That's not working. Okay. So I need to take this out because that needs to go in. I think I'm going to stick this in boy. And I thought I already done that. Hmm. Oh well, I don't know where my head was at. <laughs> okay. I flipped it over and seen that didn't look right. Okay, that looks right. Okay, it's the Simple Stories Vintage Winter Woods. So, uh, I'm going to try to keep it here in. Now, that's actually much smaller. <laughs> okay, so... And I'm just trying to strategically arrange everything so um, it stays flat when I put it into my cube. Okay, and you've just seen these, so I've got two of these, I think. And, um, and I did get all these on sale. And here is snowed in, and it wasn't long ago I bought this. And, but... It's a plat, well, I think I'm gonna keep it in the winter just because it's got this, just in case I wanna use that side. And this has got snowflakes, it's got the wood. Boy, it'll be hard not to use that just for the wood. In fact, I probably would use that just for the wood because that's unusual. It's white, it's really smooth. I'm putting it in my wood section. Okay, now this here, I had cut it for um, doing, when I was practicing the quilt technique that I used. And this is all, are they things I used together? Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to leave those like that. Okay, now these are not full kits so I'm not going to put them there because I think I'm going to hit the full kits here. This is keeping cozy and I bet you that's what all this is. Yes, they look the same. Okay. So, because I don't have actually a whole lot of collections because most of my collections I actually got from Tuesday morning. It's just been lately that I've been um, actually buying them you know selecting my own otherwise I just you know it's like okay I guess I'm using what Tuesday mornings that gave me <laughs> showed me and I bought there okay because this I did get it Tuesday morning too okay and now let's see where's my plain papers okay because now I'm gonna hit snow fun by Stephen Duncan and or is this snow fun? Now I have to wonder. Nope, that is keeping cozy. Yep, okay. Snow fun? But I don't see snow fun. Let's see. This is just paper from Colorbox. And this is paper from where? This must have been from a paper pad that I probably bought 20 years ago. And this I know I just bought off the shelf, eight and a half by eleven. 
and these must have been from um, a paper pad because it's like lots of times paper pad they would have three in the pad oh and look at this is right where they sent it through the cutter and it didn't quite make it okay this looks like something from a kit but it must be I don't know that sure looks like something else where's that sticker sheet is it this no that's that's not working okay so it must just be a plain sheet okay and these I'm pretty sure I just bought these from off the shelf and they're from the paper patch this was my favorite snowflake there's four six eight I must have bought one every time I went to ten oh my gosh I must eleven I must have bought one figured I needed one for each kid and every grandkid it is a beautiful snowflake I have to say and here is snowman Okay, I must have just bought those separate too, or they might have came in a paper pad. This too. And here's more of those, like um, this is hot off the press. I would have got that at Joann's, I think 20 years ago. And this I think is from paper pad, so there should be three, yep. You know, I like all these. I just don't, um, now that I have grown children with children, maybe they'll get pictures in the snow. I just avoided it at, at all costs. <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin. You think I would have been used to it, but no. I was not. I'm trying to see if that is not the same snowflakes, okay? Oh, look at these. I just love that. It just it's like the most beautiful color <laughs> let it snow and I'll watch it from the window okay I have four of these and they are from paper pizzazz so I probably bought them at Joann's 20 years ago because I think all the paper pizzazz is from 20 years ago this is probably from a paper pad and these are snow words. You know how much I like words. They must be from Paper Pad too. Okay, so I have not, I think I might have got a sticker sheet that was all Echo Park or Cartabella at, um, at Tuesday morning. And I think it's from there. Okay, and this is American Crafts. It's just cut apart. And I'm sure I got that at um, Joann's. Um, I think quite recently. I'm going to actually separate that from all these blue papers. And this is the um, Calendar Girl Bow Bunny. And I think, is that one more of those? Yeah. These are just so pretty. And the other side is these little icons. But I would cut it apart and use it for this. Okay, so. Oh, and this, isn't this beautiful? Super thin though. I mean, I just can't believe how thin they can cut these um, paper pizzazz. <laughs> so gorgeous. And then these ones that could be snowflakes or something from um, George Jetson. Okay, the Jetsons. So I only have the one kit and a lot of, or I have two kits, right? I have two kits and a lot of separate papers for winter. And it's still probably more than I'll use just because, unless, you know, somebody sends me winter pictures because I tell you, I try to avoid it. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I have sticker sheets that probably this was with 
and maybe I'll actually stick those all at the beginning of this when I get to that. So I'm going to actually stick it there with that being my plan. And I have one small sheet, right? And I'm going to stick that here at the front. Okay, and now this is one of my smallest one, and I'm kind of deciding if I should rethink this because I have outdoor and I have this one that I call Western. Just um, because of my husband having the old time photos um, and also, you know, our trips to Texas that I have all these together. And these are super old. I, I don't even know where they're from, but they're like 20 year olds, 20 year old too, 20 years old, also. And um, but I just think they're so cute, just like jeans laying there together. And then um, like the bandana paper. And who made this? This is Francis Meyer. And this is. Oh, I got a whole bunch. I'm so excited. I thought it was all gone. <laughs> this is from Creative Memories. And I love this paper. I made some flair with this paper too. So cute. Like if it's got to be on every Western paper. Every Western page or layout. And I think I have four and I really thought it was gone because I was using scraps. <laughs> okay and then I have these cow ones. Oh and I actually moved these from, I had these in the outdoor section and my outdoor section is so tiny so I thought well, I'm gonna move them over here because maybe I would look in western for cow for cow hide and I do, it's so funny because I sent my daughter a picture and I said whatever what I use this for and right away she sends me the kids standing by cows. <laughs> well, that's what I call fast. So I'm keeping all that, but I might rethink of a place to put it. I don't know. Okay, and then I'm going to try to get the plaids done because I don't think they'll take as long as my wood collection, even though they, they're they not really next in my cube. But um, I'm making through my cube. I mean, pretty, pretty good, I think, and I'm happy to be getting it done. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep the, anything that matches together, and maybe I'll put it like in rainbow when I get done with it, or like things like this blue in here, I'm going to put it in my blue section, because I, I want more things in my color section so anything where it's just like blue and white black and white it's going in my color section because that's my whole goal my husband's looking at me like what's she talking about <laughs> I'm sure he's just trying to think of a joke so he can just tell it okay so I'm putting all these in my color section and I'm already amazed that these can all go over there now anything that's like a multicolor like these and this, I mean I'm looking at that and it's pretty much green to me, but I think I still want to keep it over here for, for those times when I'm like, okay, it has to be a multi. So okay, this one's called Daisy D's. Okay, I think I've heard people talk about those, but I don't, I didn't even know I had any. Okay, here's greens. This is from a magazine. And I'm gonna put it in the green because I might would use it for um, for matting or something. Here's some more greens. Is that what all these are? Yep. Okay, I'm already amazed that I'm gonna have actually things to put in my color. Okay, and this, um, I'm gonna put it into a yellow even though, um, I mean, it's basically a scrap. And these I'm gonna keep here, it's multi. Anything multi, I'll keep it over here. 
multi. It's very pink, but it's still multi. This is maybe a creative memory since it's that size. Another pink multi. And I put these in with the plaids and the gingham. Here's pink. This is kind of a corally color, and so is that. Here's another multi. This is K and Company. Oh, this is what? Be inspired. It must be by Memory Keepers, because that's that M. And this one here is called the Perfect Scrapbook. And it's called Peony Blocks. It is kind of that color. Okay. Oh, and I started flipping them over. Okay, what don't we need to flip over? Okay. This here is going in the pink. Multicolor. That's Cane Company. Oh, this, I got it. Um, at Joann's and it's called Core Donations and these are really nice weight and that's basically why I bought them. Another pink. Look at, I think this looks like so classy. I don't know where it's from though. I obviously got it out of a paper pad. Here's red, but it's almost kind of an orangey red, but I'm still going to put it in the red. I love this. This this I could probably put in. I think I'm going to take two of these and put them in my fall. Or I think I have six, so I'm going to put three in the fall. Okay. And these are from where? These are from Marna? Oh, Mary Francis. Or Frances Meyer. Okay, a pale orange. Oh, was that? Yeah. Okay, one, another one of those. Almost looked like a painted. And I think I just bought, oh, it was probably a paper pad. So many of these without words are probably paper pad. Yellow. Okay, multi. This could probably go on Christmas, but I'm going to keep it here for now. Okay, and then I have green. More green, and this kind of looks like watercolor green, the way it's done. And these are all in marks. I'm sure they came in a paper pad. Here's paper pizzazz again, and look at how pretty that is. Now this has one little fine line of red in it, but I think I'm going to put it in masculine for the man and boy category. <laughs> and then I have greens. One is from It's a Boy and one's from It's a Girl from Echo Park. Cute little things on the back too, but I bought them for the plaids. Oh, and this is, this is an odd one. Now, if I, when I use this, I'm going to have to stick the picture right there because I think this is odd. And, oh, this is, must be from Memory Keep. Yeah, Making Memories. Not We Are Memory Keepers. Okay. And this is another one from my paper pad. From 20 years ago. These are all super old papers. I know um, a couple of people have wrote me and said, oh, it's like a walk through memory lane. <laughs> walk down memory lane. Yeah, totally. For me too. And I have to say, I don't even like that. It's going to go. These are cute. Okay, and these, I'm going to stick these all in the blue section. I mean, all these would be really cute for babies. This, this is Paper Studio, that one's Francis Meyer, and this one is unmarked. Another Paper Pizzazz. 
and I'm sticking the smaller ones towards the front. Here's some navy. This one's called Brady by Melissa Francis. Okay, and that is kind of a, I'm thinking it's turquoise, it's green, I don't know. I'll have to decide when I get there. Here's blue. I think these are just so pretty. The perfect scrapbook. And I, oh, it's color box. I don't know if I could read that on the others. And these are blue. And I think it looks like one of my husband's shirts. So maybe I should, no, it's, it's blue enough. I'm going to leave it in the blue because I, this is my whole goal is to get a color section. Okay, both those are blue and unmarked. And this is another one of those ones I've had for so many years. And actually, it's going to go. Here's some purple. And I didn't even think I had any purple. So I am finding purple now. And you can see I've had them. I actually must have had them in here by color. And this is the paper patch. Here's another hot off the press, and that's kind of a purpley pink. More purple and marked. I think this might be Creative Memories when it's when I see it that size. And I think I have this in every color, and I probably got it in a paper pad at Joann's. So happy to be getting this done and getting some color things. I'm actually going to have to start my my color cube pretty soon because I'm going to be out of room. Okay, and this is going to go in brown. Oh, and this one is purple. And this one's brown. Brown. Okay, and here's the purples. I wonder if I couldn't tell. I must not have had all the lights on. Because <laughs> I did have them all together. Okay, and then here's greens. Oh, and I love this. It just looks so manly. And I really wanted just to get in the man section. But I'm going to keep it in the color because I would just look there, I think, for it. And, oh, what is that anyway? This is Memories in the Making. Okay, and this one is not marked the same kind. I like this one too, it's kind of like a basket weave. And this is Memories in the Making also. This one is going to go over here, it's got another color in it. Okay, and I have one black. Okay, so I did get a bunch for my color section. and. So I feel really good about that and tomorrow I'll be back with something else and have a wonderful day and I will see you then. Bye bye.